Some welcome news on the trade front. Korea has been racking up its current account surplus in recent months, with January being no exception. But is it safe to say that Korea has completely recovered from the downward economic streak? A UDN has the answer. Despite the strengthening local currency and the weakening Japanese yen, Korea fared well in terms of trade in January. The Bank of Korea says the nation's current account was two and a quarter billion U.S. dollars in the black last month, up 100 million dollars from December. That's the highest level since November, and the boost was due in part to an increase in outbound shipments of electronics and petrochemical products. Overall exports grew nearly 14 percent from December, while imports edged up a little over 3 percent. In previous months, the current account surplus came about because of a drop in exports and an even greater drop in imports due to the faltering domestic economy. But January was a different story, as Korea saw both its exports and imports rise, even as the rising local currency fueled fears of weak exports. So could this mean Korea's downward economic streak has finally come to an end? Not necessarily. The rise in the current account surplus can be attributed to an increased number of working business days because the Lunar New Year holiday fell in February this year instead of January. Kim also explained that the turnaround in imports was due to increased demand for goods ahead of the Lunar New Year holiday in February. Meanwhile, new data shows Koreans are feeling relatively positive about the overall economic outlook, living conditions and future spending. The central bank says its consumer sentiment index came in at 102 in February. A figure above 100 shows there are more optimists than pessimists. Central bank officials attribute the positive outlook to optimism over the new government's economic stimulus measures and improvements in the global economy. While expectations remain high, the Bank of Korea officials say it is too soon to tell if Korea is on a path to recovery because of the timing of the Lunar New Year holiday this year. Experts also say the full effects of the weakened yen have yet to kick in, adding to the uncertainty. Yudian, Arirang News.